When shooting with a digital camera, unlike when shooting with film, you need to be aware of your white balance. This is, you need to make sure that your whites are actually white. The 5D provides seven automatic white balance settings and two custom settings. They're set from the white balance menu here. You first push the AFWB button here and then rotate the rear control dial. As you can see, it starts at AWB, then moves around to daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent, flash, custom, and finally Kelvin, and then back to auto white balance. Auto white balance will do the job most of the time. It can set the correct white from between 2000 and 10,000 Kelvin. This is the degree of warmth of the light. If you find that you've set the wrong white balance, you'll instantly know on the back of the camera as it will show your image as either a bit too yellow, or a bit too green, or a bit too blue. If this happens, then you'll need to change the white balance setting to be more suitable for the light you're shooting in. The two custom settings, custom and Kelvin, are if you want to be really exact about your white balance. In the custom setting, you can take a reading from a white piece of paper, for example, and tell the camera that that white should be white. With Kelvin, if you know the exact Kelvin value of the light you're shooting under, you can set this in the menu on the back of the camera. As you can see, you can set it from 2800 Kelvin down at the bottom end, all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin at the top end. This allows you to customize your white balance for exactly the light you're shooting in. When shooting, you may find you have a preference for a slightly different color temperature than standard provided in the camera. The EOS 5D provides you with the ability to fine tune your white balance. This is done in the menu here under white balance, shift and bracketing. You may decide that you prefer your images to be slightly colder in the blue green area or slightly warmer in the amber magenta area. You move the point around using this multi-controller joystick and once you've made your selection, push set and carry on shooting. If you're not sure exactly how you'd like your white balance to look, the 5D also provides the option, as with exposure bracketing, for white balance bracketing. This is accessed from the same menu as the white balance shift we just looked at. You can change it in plus or minus three steps in either the blue amber direction or the green magenta direction. As with white balance shift, once you've made your selection, push the set button and continue shooting. But remember that for every image you take, the camera will store three, so your total capacity of the card will be decreased drastically.